Alright guys, welcome back to another arena video where I'm going to be showing off two of the best teams that actually carried me to the top 30 of this arena season. So starting off with the first team, this is the burnt cheese scam that doesn't require white lily at all. And here, I'll go into the biscuits and toppings. Um, so Yeti, you just want to like throw on some random raspberries on him. He really do he cannot have a two second start. That will ruin up the rotation and he just, you know, raspberries just give him a lot more heal and such. The biscuit doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. And, well, now onto Burnt Cheese. Burnt Cheese is one of the most important components of this team because he is the absolute tank here. He needs to stun the enemies and make sure they can't activate their skills before you do. And that's, like, the most important part about scam comps. So he needs a lot of attack speed. I'd say, like, upwards of 15 to 16 to 17%. Get some on the biscuit. Get a lot of damage resist. He does receive a 30% buff when he's... 30% damage is buff when he's with golden cheese, so that definitely does help a lot as well. So combined, um, I have like 50 some 57 percent damage resist on him right now with my toppings, and at least 23% cooldown you want. But this is like a really high-end build. So if you really like you can you know forget about the cooldown and well assume assuming you don't have a two, two second start, but you need to have a two second start. So just focus on the damage resist so he doesn't die. And definitely, you know, the attack speed is also super, super important. So yeah, keep that in mind. All right, now onto Rebel. So Rebel, as you can see, I'm using the full raspberry toppings. And for him, you really want just a two, three second start. So he goes right after burnt cheese. And he will be doing the defense down, the amplified up uh, elemental damage, which is important for Frost Queen. He also needs a bunch of damage resist. Try to get at least 25, 24% on him with toppings and if you have a lower promotion like s below five stars i'd say you can run full almond he really doesn't need the raspberries but i use them because if he runs full almond he'll just stay alive longer than the other cookies for me so rebel he's really important here he does all the defense down and such that helps golden cheese and frost queen do their damage What's all right onto golden cheese so golden cheese will need a four second start and you want to focus straight on the attack toppings and definitely give her extra damage resist because she's going to need to survive to have the sarcophagus up and give her a lot of damage resist bypass. On the attackers, you're going to need damage resist bypass if you want to win. That is one of the most important components of the team, having damage resist bypass and a lot of attack on Golden Cheese and especially Frost Queen because she's going to be doing the majority of the damage. Golden Cheese is really here just to like make the team survive longer and to also have you know, burnt cheese to have his buff. So yeah, that's golden cheese. And now finally on to Frost Queen. Uh, Frost Queen running full raspberry. She needs to have a higher attack than golden cheese. So she needs to get the um, protector buff from burnt cheese. And that's really important because she needs to be able to cast her skill and not be, be stunned. But here's the thing, she can't dodge and golden cheese can. So it's not really as important for golden cheese to get the uh, no debuffs uh, buff, but when Frost Queen has it, Frost Queen will just do so much damage, and especially with the damage resist bypass stat, and the damage resist also being important. But with a damage resist bypass stat, you can melt enemies in seconds. So that's actually one of the, she's one of the most important components of this team. All right, and on to the battles now. So when using this team, I like to you know scope out the enemy team. So let's say right here. Oh, here. So this is a perfect example of what you would not want to use this team on. So this team is a 1-2-2, two, two, which means one frontliner, two middle cookies, and then two backliner cookies. I would not want to use this team on this team because it is probably going to be a coral comp or a two-second rebel comp, which two-second rebel comps are annoying to deal with, with especially this comp. And I could probably get two-second white lilied, and which is not good. And coral is also the counter to this team, so... We want to stay away from 1-2-2s for this team completely. So another great example is 2-2-1s. So that means two frontliners, two middle liners, and a backliner. You want to attack these comps with this comp. So this, and here, I'll show you an example right now. Your life will be oh, shattered. oh, it's a rebel, but still. Rebel, see how Frost Queen is able to cast? Oh, I one shot. So... See how Frost Queen is able to cast. Frost Queen did most of the damage. Golden Cheese didn't do anything, nor did Rebel, and barely anything with Burnt Cheese. So Frost Queen is really want to be your focus here. 
So here, we can rewatch it here and I can break it down for you. Okay. Um, so going in, let me just go down to the full. Burnt cheese is going first. And that prevents Frost King from getting two second white lily. And even though Golden Cheese and Rebel aren't doing anything, it really just comes down to Frost Queen really just melting away all the opponents. As you can see, that, that's what happened. And that's why this team is really good against two second white lily teams. Those scam comps, especially because, and yeah, well, especially because, you know, Frost Queen still melt even though she's not shackled. So here's another team that you want to look out for. You can also attack these teams, but if you see that they have uh, a backliner that's not Snapdragon, it's most likely going to be Yeti in the front. And especially with the low power, it definitely could be Yeti and Elder Fairy, but I don't know yet since I haven't attacked yet. So I'm going to try and attack this guy with this team. You're going down. So it wasn't Yeti and Elder Fairy, but we are going to one-shot them. We're, we're close to it because it's not a one-shot team, and two, well, they really had Financier and Elder Fairy on there, so that means the Paper Charm, this buff, can dispel all of Elder Fairy's buffs and Financier's buffs, meaning their Frost Queen is basically rendered useless, only doing 22,000 damage versus mine doing 10 million. So this is one of my favorite teams to use in the arena, and this is one of the best teams, but you sadly do need a two-second White Lily start for that, for her. And we'll go into White Lily, we'll go into her first. So White Lily, you do need a two second start, which means you have need to have a minimum of around 16.5% cooldown on your Biscuit, which could be difficult for some free to play players and others alike, but you're going to need to have that two second start so they do get shackled. And so you do like basically, she's basically a frilled jellyfish replacement once she gets a two second start. So onto that, um, Frost Queen. Frost Queen does need a three second start. Um, to do that, I think you need like around 20 something percent cooldown, I'm not sure, but this is a different build from when I used the Burnt Cheese scam. She does not need to have highest attack or anything, it's just, if you need a three second start and you can get that damage resist bypass and that damage resist so she lives and survives and does all that damage. Now onto Golden Cheese. Golden Cheese is going to be using the, basically the same build as the previous comp. So she just, you know, there for revive and there for, you know, the shield and sarcophagus. She's there for some extra damage as well. So basically the same exact build as the other team. And the most important part about this is Snapdragon. Snapdragon will actually be having a five second start. Having a five second start means she does not need any cooldown whatsoever. She's just going to be focusing on the crit, the attack, and that's pretty much it. Just the crit and attack and attack speed. So she goes last in the rotation. It does not mess up any of the core four damage cookies rotations. All right, so here's a 2-2-1 comp that I will be showcasing this comp against. They do have lower promos, but it's going to be a cool one-shot. So the, the skill order will most likely be going to be White Lily, then Frost Queen, then Rebel, then Golden Cheese, then finally Snapdragon. The, four, the core four damage dealers are the most important part of this comp, and they need, like, all the attention there. Snapdragon is just there to heal up and make sure everyone's all right. All right, so the skill order will be White Lily, then Frost Queen, then Rebel, and then Golden Cheese. And after all the core four damage dealers went, Snapdragon will go. And now Frost Queen will need to take the revive so she gets an extra skill off, and then they'll just get one shot and just be deleted in the first like, 20 seconds of the battle. Let's take a fight. And yeah, then you win. It's pretty much easy. And now see how their White Lily basically did nothing. Their Golden Cheese did nothing. And yeah, it's mainly just their Frost Queen that, you know, damaged my cookies. So that's why this comp is super, super powerful in the arena right now. Right now. And all the one-shot comps are just so insane, so good. And I think that concludes the video right now. So basically these two teams are one of the, some of the best teams to use in the arena right now. I'd say team four is the most free to play friendly team. And with team five, you can also replace these two treasures with the scroll and the whistle if you have them maxed out for guild battle and other stuff. And this works just as well as this, the feather and vial. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Uh, comment any questions that you have about these teams. I'll be glad to answer them in the comments, you know. So, yeah, have a, you know, have fun in the last couple days of Arena. And I don't see the scam meta going anywhere. So many people ask me about Strawberry Crepes Magic Candy. So, what I think about Strawberry Crepes Magic Candy is that it definitely intriguing. has potential. And by that, I mean that she has three seconds stun and the movement speed down. If we do end up getting her to a two second start, she will be able to dismantle uh, two second white lilies, which will make scam comps basically very much weaker than they were. But the, to, in order to get a two second start, you're going to need a lot of cooldown on the biscuit, which as you can see, I'm pretty broken my biscuit stuff right now, so I can't really do that right now. So once I do get a two second strawberry crepe, I will definitely be keeping you guys updated on everything. And I will definitely post that team on my YouTube as well as my TikTok. So yeah, that's pretty much it about Strawberry Crepes Magic Candy. She's also gonna be good in world exploration and everything. So yeah, that's pretty much it.